you know, 10 seconds. So in theory, there should be a brain period, for example, uh, on drug testing uh, to cover what happened during the lockout when players were locked out against their will and should have been free to do whatever they wanted. Similarly, any behavior that occurred during the lockout, uh, legal issues or, or otherwise, in my opinion, should not have been uh, you know, applicable. And I would agree that anything that happens before you are an NFL employee should not be turned out. Mike, so when the Dutch players, in your opinion, uh, what happens when is, does this get reduced or do you think it stays? <laughs>
sets that they have are fantastic. The uh, high quality shade you get is second to none. And Harry's wants to prove to you that their products are awesome. Harry's gets it. Some guys might be skeptical. Maybe trying a brand new razor brand. You're used to your old razor and your current shaving routine, and, but I guarantee you, you're going to love this shaver. Yeah, three million guys have already made the switch to Harry's.com. So instead of telling you, Harry's wants to prove it to you that you're going to love their stuff with a free trial offer. They made this uh, free uh, trial offer combined with the Harry's to give you everything you'll need to evaluate Harry's shaver. It's customizable. You can try it for free at $13 value. Someone from Harry's even checks in to see how the trial is going, and I can guarantee you're gonna love it. And by the way, it's 100% risk-free. Guaranteed. They're confident you're gonna love the new shade that you get from Harry's. And even call and cancel and get a refund whenever you want. So why not give Harry's a shot and judge for yourself? Just head over to harrys.com slash L&T to get it for free now. Just cover the cost of shipping. Yeah, it's harrys.com slash L&T. And by the way, the shipping is minimal. It's just like a few bucks to get the whole set. That's a sweet deal. Get your free trial set including handle, blade, shave gel, and travel blade cover. Go to harrys.com slash L&T. That's harrys, H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash L-A-N-D-T. Don't wait, get started with Harry's today. Uh, we're calling Shannon. Her husband, Larry, sent to get her and get her good. Drop your linen and stack your grinning. I got the best smell. This is the Lamont and Tinelli Ding of the Day on 1077 The Bone. Oh. Hi, can I speak to Mr. Lawrence, please? Uh, this is the finance department of Dr. Lawrence's office. Uh, my name is Oscar Cleveland. I'm calling from the finance department at Dr. Office, the plastic surgeon. Uh, are you sure you're the right number? Yeah, I'm calling. Uh, is this five Yeah, it is. Well, I'm calling about the outstanding debt that your family has. We didn't receive a payment this month or last month for the plastic surgery that was done. I'm sorry, wait, what is that standing there for what? I believe it was for your breast enlargement enhancement surgery, ma'am. Wait, 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 You didn't have one done? Uh, did she pay for something else for breast enlargement recently? Well, she did that to me. Well, this is Dr. office. Yeah, I understand that, but my husband... And your husband, your husband is Mr. Lawrence... Here, he financed a breast enlargement surgery for a young woman. Wait, a young woman? I'm sorry, what's the name of this young woman? Uh, well, she was younger than me. That's, uh, Wait, that's all I... What, what name of the young woman? What's the name? Well, uh, here, here's... What does she look like? What's well, I see, ma'am, I actually... And, and listen, I'm the finance department. I don't have that down because I only have who signed for the surgery. Did you, you work in a doctor? Yeah, I'm the head of the finance department. Okay, did you see him come in there, the guy who said he was my husband, and whose breast enlargement was he paying for exactly? Well, you see, I don't know. I, I did. I know he paid for someone who got double D cups. That's that's all I can tell you. Are you kidding me? No, are hold on, hold, hold on, one one second, ma'am. I'll find out. Hey, do you guys have any more information about this? Do you have any who who this was? You guys remember that blonde that came in here for the boot job? Oh yeah, oh yeah. She was like a model. Wait, um, what? Yeah, she was hot. Uh, they're saying. She was like a blonde model type. That I. That's wait, all. What, I. What are you? Wait. What? Are you, I, I'm gonna f kill him. Now, are you blonde, ma'am? No, I'm not blonde. I'm brunette. I'm going to f kill him. I do not understand what's going on right now. Right. So you have no idea who you this is. I need the name of this person. Okay. I need the name. I'm going to. F Kill him! I'm literally going to cut his balls off. Well, you see, ma'am, I don't have that information. I just have the information of who whose account this is. Now, is there any way I can call back, or maybe you guys could just send us a check for the money that's no, owed? I'm not sending a check anywhere. My husband, when he comes home, has some serious explaining to do to my lawyer because I'm going to take him to the cleaners. Now, how about a credit card? Do you have a credit card we can use, maybe? You know what? Don't insult me, okay? 
As you can see, I'm a little bit upset right now. I just found out that my husband bought kids for some young twat. Well, now listen, before you get too upset, can, can I ask you a question? What? Do you listen to the radio at all? What? Yeah, of course. What? Well, Why? because you're you're actually on the air right now. This is Lamont Tonelli, and your husband set you up. We got you. Oh my God. He said he won. He said he wanted to show you how much he loves you. Oh my God. Well, he has a funny way of showing it. I'm gonna kill him. Well, he got you good, didn't he? Oh my God.